Hello student. So let us start our discussion. In previous tutorial, we have discussed the second pass of assembler. Okay, and there we have discussed that how uh, binary code or how instruction will be converted into the binary code. So uh, here uh, we will try to discuss the programming aspect. So let us try to discuss the pro uh, program loops. Okay, so uh, for that we will take a sample program. Okay, so uh, let me try to divide this program into portions so you can have an idea that uh, this will be the first portion. Uh, this will be the second portion. This will be the uh, third portion. okay and uh, last portion will be for uh, storing the operand okay so uh, let me tell you that uh, how it is going to work and uh, this portion will be the fourth portion portion one portion two portion three and portion 4 clear now let me tell you that uh, this portion will uh, work as an initialization portion this portion will work as a uh, loop okay and this will work as a variable and this will be uh, working as a uh, data storage so let uh, let me tell you that what is the definition uh, here the problem definition is that uh, we are having uh, 100 operands okay uh, which are uh, stored on memory location 150 onwards so 150 then 151 likewise uh, let's say 149 sorry 249 so uh, these are the very uh, 100 uh, operand and uh, our role is to perform the uh, addition of all operand okay so uh, <coughs> let us start the discussion how it will work what is the first instruction org 100 so this instruction will be on 100 then 101 102 103 104 105 106 107 108 109 110 then uh, 120 121 likewise okay and uh, this is memory location 150 so uh, let us start what is the first instruction load accumulator with ads address address of starting address of operand what is it 150 so initially uh, in array uh, while this program is uh, compiled okay uh, assembled then in address there will be value 150 and then in number value will be minus 100 okay and here let's take accumulator so initially accumulator will be loaded into uh, with the value 150 then sta store accumulator in ptr so in pointer we will store the 150 means starting uh, address okay then load accumulator with nbr what is nbr 100 so minus 100 will be loaded into accumulator and then store accumulator into counter so okay and uh, then clear accumulator so every bit will be zero now let me tell you this pointer variable we will use to point towards the uh, array of uh, 100 operand and uh, this counter will be used to count the uh, loop okay so how many times that loop should be executed uh, so we are done with the initialization uh, throughout the execution we will use accumulator uh, pointer and counter and sum okay so these are the memory location now what is the first instruction uh, loop then add pointer in direct addressing mode okay so what is value of pointer 150 so it will go to the memory location 150 rather than using 150 as an defective address of operand uh, means directly uh, using this 150 okay uh, we will go to the location 150 and what is the value 75 okay so that will be added with the accumulator so in accumulator 75 will be added so new value of accumulator is 75 then increment pointer 
and skip the next instruction if it is uh, zero so here uh, we are using this instruction to simply increment the pointer okay this is never gonna be uh, zero why because uh, this is all already positive so if we will increment then uh, this will not become negative so uh, up to the uh, range of uh, uh, register value or you can say memory word so 150 and then 150 will be incremented to 151 then increment counter and uh, skip the next instruction if it is uh, uh, zero so this will become minus 99 and uh, here it is not zero so this instruction won't be skipped so it will go to the label lop then add ptri so what is current value of ptr uh, 151 so whatever what operand is or which operand is on uh, let's say um, memory location 151 82 okay so then it will be added with the accumulator so 75 plus 82 so 157 will be new value of you can say uh, accumulator then isz pointer so 152 okay so after uh, this it will point to the next operand which is on location 152 and the counter will be decremented minus uh, 98 okay so similarly uh, every time uh, the new value will be added and into accumulator new value will be added into accumulator okay so accumulator will be updated let's say uh, last location is uh, um, 149 okay and counter will be minus 1 so last operand is uh, 22 okay so add pointer i so 149 it is 20 uh, 249 it is sorry here it is 2 249 it is 22 so 22 will be added to accumulator okay then increment counter so counter will be incremented so this one will become zero okay this will uh, value of this pointer will be 250 now uh, increment the counter and skip the next instruction if it is zero okay so here uh, the value of counter is zero so next instruction that is uh, bun lop it will be skipped okay and what is the next instruction store accumulator on sum so whatever answer final answer is there in accumulator it will be stored on sum memory location specified by sum okay clear with this okay and after that there will be hold instruction hold means computer will stop the execution and uh, at this uh, program will end okay so this is how loop will work okay so this is the uh, loop which will uh, help us to perform the addition of 100 element okay if you are not implementing the loop then uh, we have to repeat this uh, three instruction 100 times so it will uh, take uh, 300 line minimum so uh, here we have simply written this uh, 300 line of code into 30 or 35 line of code okay or you can say let's say 150 line of code if you include the uh, operand okay if you do not include the operand then um, hardly uh, 25 or 30 lines so this is how uh, loops are written into the uh, assembly language uh, program okay clear with this okay so in this tutorial we will keep up to this in uh, next tutorial we will discuss the uh, programming arithmetic and logic operation means how we can program uh, arithmetic logic then circular means a shift operation so that's it thank you